A dog depends on several body systems to keep them upright, which is why balancing is a complex task that requires mental and physical fitness. There are two types of balance, static and dynamic. In this exercise, we are going to be looking at static balance, which is the dog's ability to maintain his body in a fixed position. Whilst your dog is used to maintaining his balance on the floor, we want to challenge them a little further and ask them to maintain proper posture whilst their front feet are raised. As your dog progresses, you can raise the height of the platform, but this should only be done when your dog is performing the exercise with proper form and remaining stable on a lower height. Make sure your platform is secure, sturdy, and it's not gonna be slippy on top. Um, start them on a low height. Um, I've increased the height a little bit here for Logic because he knows how to do this. Um, but if you're starting this off for the first time, then you want something nice and low. As the dog gets more confident and they're holding their body position that we want, then you can increase the height. This is still relatively low for him though. Um, using a treat, you're going to lure the dog into putting their front feet on and we're going to reward them in this position. We don't want to reward them if they get off because then we're reinforcing the behaviour that we don't want. Good boy. Good. So what we want here is um, as close as possible to a square stand. You can, or you can move your treat around a little bit to help them readjust their position. Good boy. What we're looking for ideally is that the front feet are square to each other and also the back feet square to themselves as well. Good boy. If you have a wide platform, keep your treat to the edge. Good boy. As Soon as you start pulling things across on wider items, you can see that we start leaning, which is what we don't want. Good boy. So here I've got nice back feet, front feet, a little bit off, but not too bad. He's not helped by the fact that the ground underneath is a bit wonky. Um, good boy. That's nice. So again, making sure that we're rewarding for the positions that we want. Good. Nice and even in that stand and we're asking them to maintain this position. Good boy. And off again. Back. So you can see there that he's wonky on the back. So just from moving the tree or readjusting him back on and off again, we can get a better stand. Good boy. And we're gonna hold that position Good boy. Good lad. You can see we've got no wobbly movements when he's holding. Good boy. Nice, good boy. That's what we're looking for. He would now be able to go onto a higher level item and he would give us the same confidence in his body posture that we see now. Good lad. Yes. Good boy. And down. So that is what we're looking for. We want to see a few repetitions of this and we're looking for the dog to be confident in the behaviour, holding a secure body position. If the dog is wobbly um, or they're constantly readjusting, that's when they're struggling to hold their body position. You potentially need to move to a lower item um, or even potentially back to the floor. Um, and make sure that the dog is standing with a good um, posture. If they're struggling to stand with a nice posture on the floor and even um, position with their feet, then you may need to have them checked out by a qualified individual such as a vet or a physio, um, as there may be an underlying issue somewhere that's creating an imbalance. And that's the end of our static exercise.